Hi guys, we're here at Ikea and we're gonna go inside and do some follow me around stuff, which is quite embarrassing because I've never done that before, but I'm gonna see if they have any art supplies in Ikea. So let's go have a look. The bear is 25 euros, so we're putting him back. I feel really sad. Chris wants to eat again. <laughs> so it says four euros, which is quite pricey for what seems to be kind of meh. But let's get some trusted out, shall we? I really like the way that that stuff's hanging up there but I'm like where would I put that if I got it so maybe another time but they are really interesting I could put them somewhere I think but I don't know where Today we went to Ikea and what I'm going to be doing is testing out those Ikea products that we picked. And yeah, I know I'm not stupid, these are probably for children, but I think that children still deserve to have good art supplies and products, otherwise it will put them off. So we're going to test how good these art supplies are. So if I can use them, in theory, children will be able to use them and enjoy them. Right? Okay, let's, uh, let's start showing you what I got. First of all, I got these rolls of paper, 30 meters of paper that you roll out. Got this contraption that you set up and you basically put it this on this and then you can pull out the paper across the table. So I'm gonna try using that and I think that will be quite fun to use. I got some nice colored paper. It's A4 sheets, even though it looks A3. They just, they double stack them. I thought this would be good for paper crafting in the future. I'm probably not gonna use these in the video now, but it might be quite nice to just test out some of the paper. Actually at the back, you do have a lot of sheets of white A3 paper too. So it's quite handy. I also got this patterned paper, which is also used for this contraption. I don't actually know what I'm going to create in this video. So maybe we'll use it, maybe we won't. Uh, what is this? I got these paints and it really looked like they were for t-shirts or something, but I don't actually think they are. And they're just really crazy colored paints. So just really luminous. I don't know if they're water-based. It has like no information on the packaging of what kind of paints they are. It just looks like you can use them as a squirty bottle or you can use them with a paintbrush. So it's probably quite fun for younger kids just to play around with these crazy colors. I'm not sure how useful they are um, for me. So we'll see what happens with them. I just wanted to test them. I know this seems like I'm just, I've bought loads of stuff and I'm gonna waste it all. But I actually have four young nieces who this would be perfect for. So anything that I don't use is gonna be donated to them to have a play around with. So I think it's gonna be really good. I got these models because I thought, I always wanted some models. I'm not sure how autonomic, autonomic, autonomy, autonomically, 
I'm not sure how correct they are looking to, you know, do realistic styles because they're quite limited in the way that you could pose them and I think the hand is a little bit strange because it's like, it's kind of facing like this. But you know, it's useful to have these tools sometimes so I think they will be quite interesting to use in the future because I feel like that's something that lots of artists need and these are a cheap version of that. Um, so let's see how they are. I got this little rolly thing because this looks fun. It's like a little roller thing. It looks quite fun, you know, when people paint walls and stuff. It's got that kind of rubbery, soft, smooth, what am I saying? Rubbery attachment to it and then it's got like a weird ridged one so you can probably do some nice patterns with it. Again, really fun for young kids. Not sure how useful it is for me but not really sure how useful it is for me but I'm willing to give it a try. I know this whole section is for young kids again, so obviously it's kind of like me being like, I'm going to uh, review this art supply, but I think this one will just be fun, you know? It probably goes quite well with these crazy colors. I also had to try out the standard paint set that they have there. You think you get all the primary colors and then a few extra colors. Um, there's white and black in there as well. You can't really see it because it's in the back here. But those will be really fun to test out. They're kind of like poster paints, I guess, which are water-based and not very opaque, as I remember in art class when I was you know, a young kid in school. So it'll be interesting to see how well these paint. I got these pens, which are kind of like felt tip pens, I guess, but they seem to be water-based as well, I think. They look a little bit like highlighters. The nib looks a bit strange. So we're gonna see how that one works out too. Again, with the really massively bright colors, I think because they're aiming these for children, they probably think, oh, the children need bright colors, but actually it's been proven that kids like all kinds of colors and you can use different, you know, darker shades and normal shades that you see everywhere. <laughs> I got these pencils, which look like they are actually watercolor pencils because of the little image on the front. It shows a paintbrush of water, so that will be interesting to use because I like using watercolors. I'm not a huge fan of watercolor pencils because I always think they're not really worth the effort. I don't know. I think it's obviously useful in some cases to get like texture and like different effects and maybe just use a little bit on each thing. But yeah, we'll try those out. And of course, I have to get their watercolor sets, which has 14 paints, it's telling me, two paintbrushes and a little palette mixer, I think, which is quite cool that it all comes together in this little box. I think everything here is relatively cheap so it's really nice that they have these things that people can try out and use because obviously when you're first starting out um painting or doing anything artistic spending a lot of money is a big commitment to something that you may not be committed to so we'll see how they work i also got this washi tape which you saw me get in the clip which is probably if you think about it um the most expensive item here in reference to like price comparison to what you get because these seem pretty thin like not much washi tape here it says five meters but i'm not i'm not believing that forgot the word for post-it these are post-its and i thought these were quite fun i know they're not necessarily an art supply they're more of a stationary supply but you know they're handy for note taking and things like that and lastly but not least I got the paintbrush set that they offer and already I can look at it and say that the quality is not great but we're going to try them out because they look quite fun to use. They look quite soft so yeah let's give them all this stuff a whirl shall we? Hmm. This is exhausting. Goes in here like so and then apparently just uh, rip it off. That didn't work. Okay, we, we're here for it, Ikea. Took a little bit of practice there, but I got it, I got it. I don't really know what this riv this rivet here is for, or this. Like, I'm not really sure. Do you put your bank brushes there? I don't know. I'm just gonna put it off frame. That was satisfying. Let's uh, use the poster paints, shall we? These are quite cute. I like the little, the packaging. Okay, we'll keep that and we'll just, pop them in like that. I'm so excited to try this out. 
I think this is the thing that I'm most excited for. Ooh, this feels really like squidgy as well, which is really fun. I'm gonna make a little like sky scene here. So I'm gonna try and do like a gradient sky. So we're gonna use these colors um, to make a little blue sky. I'm gonna put them out of frame for now. So let's start off with the lightest color first. Seems quite nice, the paint actually. It's less watery than I expected it to be. It's still quite watery, but hey. I'm gonna change this little uh, patterned one to be, to be this one. Yep, that was pretty, pretty easy to change. If I was a kid, which I kind of am, that would be quite simple. Oh, you can get some like <laughs> quite nice smoothness here. I can already see that the paper is buckling because obviously this paper is so thin so that you can tear it quite easily. And I know that's like a cool thing and obviously that's the whole point of it, but if you're gonna give this to kids and then obviously things are gonna get messy and all that artwork is just gonna rip. It's not very cool. If they could do this with better quality paper and maybe charge a bit more for the paper, I know it wouldn't rip so easily, but yeah, I don't know. I, I think I just want Ikea to make proper art supplies because <laughs> I think they do a really good job because these things are quite cool already, so let's try out the paint brushes. So from feeling the paint brushes, they are so soft. These ones not so much, but these are so nice actually. The main problem with cheap brushes is that they fall apart quite easy, so we'll see we'll see how well that holds up. Oh no, the paint brushes are quite nice. I'm quite impressed by that. Interesting. Okay, Ikea, I see you. I see you there. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna make like a, a sky. I do notice that when I'm using this, there's a little line on it. So it makes a mark of that on the paper. Hmm, that's a bit lame considering that's the whole point of it is to make smooth colors. Although I am really liking this. <laughs> Of course, I want to try this roller out as well. Okay. Again, it's just a, like a fun thing. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect because it's just about experimenting, especially when you're a kid. It's kind of, that's what you, you want to do. What am I doing here? <laughs> I'm going to try and use these pens. I also think this paper is not going to withhold much more, though it's doing quite well so far. So I might be just uh, making that up. Great thing about pasta paints and reasons probably why children use it or it's used in classrooms is that it dries super quickly. So that's nice. <laughs> no. No, no. Pesto is determined to get her paws on this paint. I don't really know what I'm doing here, but I'm just testing these supplies out. Yeah, like I thought, these seem pretty water-based, so they kind of, they are bleeding a little bit, but they seem really nice to use. Ready? Oh. <laughs> the beauty of this sheet is that we can try different things quite easily. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna get this hand out and I'm gonna try and draw some different hand um, shapes, shapes, poses, and I will tell you how I feel about it because I feel like the poses could be quite limited to be honest. Release you. Okay, what my issue with this model is that, sure you have your thumb there, but I think it would extend a bit further than it does. So this area is kind of not here because it's it's like that. Basic hand shapes, like if you just want to get a quick gesture. The wrist moves, which is interesting, but not very much. So it kind of just does this instead of, you know, the whole capability of our wrists. It does do this. I'm gonna put it like that so I can see it. So what you can do is kind of block out the shapes that you can see, and then there's the thumb. So the thumb will go like this. Again, the whole movement of it is kind of limited. So it's a little bit like, what's the point of it? But I think some handy thing that you can take away from using this is that you can see different angles of where the fingers will be, but also you can see different values of where the light would be shining if your hand was to say, do this. So all in all, I think that this hand is pretty useful. It can be useful. I know that it has limitations. Those are pretty clear, but it, it's pretty handy to look at negative space and- Pretty handy. Ah, I hate myself. I Would I use it all the time? No. So I give this handy hand a, I would give it a six out of 10. I can see that this pen is kind of 
running out, not running out, but getting a bit weaker. And obviously you don't have it where you color and it kind of blends into itself like you have with Copic markers or whatever. I know I'm not expecting the same level as Copic markers or anything like that, but you know we did that tiger haul and those tiger markers, they do blend quite well together. I think the hand is pretty useful. So I'm probably gonna keep that around and give these, donate these pens to my nieces so they can have some fun with them. I think I'm gonna try out the pencils now and see how good they are. And also, of course, they are watercolor pencils. So I'm gonna be getting some water and trying them out. Oh, they do feel quite nice and weighty. You also get a free sharpener with it. Well, not a free one, but you get a sharpener with it, which is quite handy. Let's just try and color in the hands a little bit, shall we? I am a big fan of coloring pencils. So far, I'm really liking these ones. They feel very soft and smooth and you can definitely get a good gradient going. I think they're very nice and they feel really sturdy and solid and properly like a block of wood that you're holding. I think these might be the best supply that I've tried so far, except for the poster paint, which is quite good depending on, you know, what you use it for. They feel very smooth as well, which is surprising considering how cheap they are but well, these seem really opaque and easy to use and i definitely think these are really nice quality which is really useful to know because you know if you go to ikea and you want to try out some colored pencils these are relatively cheap so and they layer quite well so let's try them out with some watercolor shall we well not watercolor but water and see how well they paint i'm going to take one of the ikea paint brushes and see how well they hold water. This paper probably won't like water very much, as you can see. So this is probably a gonna be a bit of a bad experiment, but we'll test it out anyway. Obviously ignoring that the paper is absolutely hating this. I think these watercolor pencils are pretty amazing because they're blending really well. And I don't know if that's the paper just causing it to go away, but I think this is like the best watercolor pencils I've seen for a long time because usually when you try to blend them out they kind of get keep that texture that they had and don't really change but these are like blending out really really nice and I'm gonna probably use these again I would definitely recommend these I would say I would probably give them a 9 or 10 really so if you guys have an Ikea near you, I would say check these out. Okay, let's move on to the next thing I want to try, which is these crazy colored paints. Not sure how I would probably use them in everyday art supply um, usage. That was a weird way to say how I would use these art supplies. I don't know why, I just had the idea that you could paint t-shirts or something, but it definitely doesn't look like you can. It just look like normal paints. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but this is fun. Oh, it's very sloppy paint. It smells a bit funny. Yeah, like I think nothing nothing amazing about these paints really. And I'm gonna see if it dries like this, if you can actually keep that texture. We'll see. Let's do a little bit of a Jackson Pollock, shall we? Guys, yeah, I've gone and come back after lunch. So let's see if this is dry. It doesn't look dry. So I've been away for quite a while. If you wanted to do a painting like this as advertised, you'd have to wait a pretty long time to actually let it all dry. In that sense, the nozzle tips are a bit of a fail. So I would give these paints, I mean, they're very nice colors. They're quite nice too. Play with but I don't really see myself using them much in any of the artwork that I could do so for me specifically I'd give these a mm, a six out of ten because I can see them being quite fun to use and play around with the last thing that I wanted to try which is the watercolors and I think this will be really interesting to find out if these are any good because I mainly use watercolors so this will be a good um, thing to compare and try out. So this is the watercolor set. It comes in this Handy tin. These are quite deep, which is nice. Oh, it comes with these handy little trays and some more paint brushes that we already have a few of. Hi, Pesto. I like to use a lot of water because I think, you know, when you use watercolors, water gets quite dirty quite quickly. Obviously, I'm not going to test it out on this uh, paper because I think this paper just doesn't handle water very well. It feels quite loopy at the moment, which is nice. Yeah, it feels like quite a thick mixture, which is an odd way to describe it. It kind of feels like it isn't really watercolor, probably post repaint. I mean, it's quite nice, it does the job. You have to use quite a lot of water as well to get it moving around the page. So I'll just do a quick test of the watercolors I usually use. 
next to them so you can get a, a comparison. So this is the palette I use. I made it myself, it's a bit dirty, but it's Schmincke Hordam watercolors on this side and Windsor & Newton professional grade watercolors on this side. So they are, they are kind of the top end of the watercolor scale i guess so really they should be better than cheap ones that come from from ikea so i'm going to use a similar color so this blue and probably this pink i'll use also i think the pink brushes are actually quite nice they surprise me because they do look pretty cheap but they hold quite a good amount of water um which is obviously a good thing for watercolors and they're not breaking apart which is something that tends to happen with um cheap paint brushes a good cheap alternative really you can see that obviously the ones on the the right are better but the ones on the left are not too bad really in a pinch they're quite good and i think i quite like how they come in this set they come with these kind of skin tone colors as well which is handy because pre-made skin tone is always nice i would say this set is pretty nice it's a good beginner set i would i would think um i wouldn't expect anything amazing from it but to be given this as a beginner they're not super awful and they're not super great but i would give these a a seven out of ten probably but yeah i think these are pretty nice and i will be donating those to my nieces i think so i think we've tried everything that we need to try and rating all the things out of ten has been quite useful has been has been quite useful i think the best things that i've gotten from ikea are these watercolour pencils, I would definitely rate them, I would buy them again. All in all, these were the best buy, I think, and they were pretty cheap. Second was definitely something I would use again is this spongy roller. I think this is, was really fun to use and I'll be using it again in my sketchbook to maybe layer down a background really quickly and I think it was nice to use. And then again, saying that, I used these paints with that squeegee uh, thing and I thought these were really nice so I'll be using these again as well so these are the things that I liked the best I also do think the paint brushes were not too bad for the price that they were we do have a little bit of shedding going on if you're new to watercolors or painting then they are a good beginner set to use because they're not too expensive and they're not so cheap that they absolutely fall apart and are rubbish and a little summary on these guys i haven't used the model yet but i think this would be quite good to make a fully in-depth video on let me know if you want that but i think the hand was quite good and all in all it was quite useful to have that around and the things that i will not be using again the squeegee paint i'll be giving those to my nieces another thing that i will be donating of course is these felt tip pens that are not really um alcohol based i will probably be donating those to my nieces as well i've yet to test out a few things that i bought but i think this is kind of the bulk and the main thing that you guys are here for so i hope that you found this interesting and maybe you'll visit your local ikea and maybe get something that i've recommended here and if you do let me know because i would be interested to know if um you found any of these art supplies useful or if you agreed with me maybe you disagree with me maybe some of them are really good and use them all the time so let me know and yeah that's basically it guys okay, so it's been probably about a week or so and i've been using the art supplies a little bit more so what i've been using is the squeegee brush and the poster paints and then the pencils on top so i've been really enjoying that like this was just a first little test thing and as you can see, like, over the poster paints, the pencil is really opaque. Really surprised by these pencils, they're just so smooth quality. Yeah, what are you? This isn't your bed. This isn't your bed. This was another experiment where I started doing some tape down and then it evolved into me doing some drawings of washing lines. I really enjoyed doing and I really like this one with the pants hanging on the line. It's quite funny to me. <laughs> and then I did some hands and a similar thing. So I, what I did is just put washi tape down and then I roll it different colours and then this one is a pen that I used on top which is a nice I just think it's a nice effect and this one is with the pencils and more paint on top and then white ink and pen so I just decided to follow that similar theme and do it with boats then I was just having fun messing about trying to see what I could do because I think it looks kind of like that comic style of printing where you have like you print one color and then you print another and i really like that style so it's quite cool to see if you can do it just by experimenting i did a little scene of marrakesh at night i thought that was quite cool 
yeah, that's basically it. As you can see, the art supplies that I took were actually quite useful and kind of inspired me. So, and I thought some of them would be like, you know, okay, but a lot of them have been pretty good, you know, art supplies from Ikea. I rate them. Um, well, the ones I said I rated. Anyway, that's it from me. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like and subscribe, as I always say. Uh, it really helps me out. And I'll see you next time, hopefully. Okay, bye.